Everybody, welcome to a special episode of Ryan Scenario Roundup. This one is Save Paintball and California Edition. Now, if you guys have been online anywhere, if you've been on forums, if you've checked your email, if you're into Airsoft or Paintball at all, you've heard about this. And I will tell you more about what's going on, SB798, and what you can do to help support Paintball and help be a good ambassador of the sport as well. So you've seen the press releases from NPPL, Ballers Cafe, Giant Paintball Park, Dale Ford talked about it in the Ford Report. It's all over the net and all over everywhere. And there's some good information, some misinformation, and a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to go straight flat out to the horse's mouth and jump over into the bill itself and see what it says more. So bill SB 798, Senate bill, here in California, what it is, is you've heard it described as, okay, in a, in a nutshell, what they want to do is they want to make sure that every propellant BB device is not colored black. It is only going to be colored a specific bright color. A list of colors are, are in there. I will read the actual bill in order to protect children, protect police officers and such like that. Yes, it does affect paintball. And uh, yes, it does affect Airsoft, and uh, we'll go more into the specifics right now. So, here you go. In order to find this yourself, very easy to find it. You can look for it over at the website, which is leginfo.ca.gov. Uh, don't take anybody else's word for it. There are a couple different versions of it. And so you want to make sure that you're getting the latest version of it. If it has lines through it, that means that it has been stricken out. So all you have to do is click over a bill information, put SB798, and it pops in. If it's struck out, if there's a line through it, that means it's not part of the bill anymore. You don't have to worry about it. So I will actually just read the bill itself. So SB798, as amended, de Leon, firearms, BB device, cementation firearms, existing law defines BB device to mean any instrument that expels a projectile, such as a BB or a pellet, through the force of air pressure, mm -hmm. gas pressure, mm -hmm. or spring action, mm -hmm. or any spot marker gun. So if there's some way that we can shoot paint out of a marker without using gas, springs, or anything else, that would apply as well. Existing law defines imitation firearm to mean any BB device, toy, gun, replica of a firearm, or other device that is so substantially similar in coloration and overall appearance to an existing firearm as to lead a reasonable person to perceive that the device is a firearm, but provides that a BB device is not imitation firearm in regard to a provision imposing a civil fine on the sale, manufacture, transportation, receipt, or distribution of imitation firearms for commercial purposes. What this means and was added is that possession of this doesn't mean that you have a fine for possessing an imitation firearm. It's not illegal to own one, which is good. There's more stuff that was stricken out. Don't even read it. It doesn't exist anymore. This bill would make the provision imposing a civil fine on the sale, manufacture, transportation, receipt, or distribution of imitation firearms for commercial purposes applicable to BB devices. So, going into the actual bits and pieces of it, goes into penal code is amended to read, as used in the part, imitation firearm, may mean the device toy, replica of firearm, other device that is so substantially similar to coloration, overall appearance, to existing firearms, to lose a reasonable person to perceive that the device is a, fi is a firearm. And section 268, imitation firearm does not include any of the following, a non-firing collector's replica that is historically significant and is offered for sale in conjunction with a wall plaque or presentation case. So all you have to do is just take your PayPal marker and then attach it to a wall plaque and put a certificate of authenticity on it and you're good to go, right? No, not so much. Two, struck out, three, struck out to a device where the entire exterior surface of the device is white, bright red, bright orange, bright yellow, bright green, bright blue, bright pink, or bright purple, either singly or as the predominant color in combination with other colors in any pattern. That, I think, my friends, is a loophole that we might be able to talk about later. As provided by the federal regulations governing imitation firearms, 
I haven't been able to find out what the federal regulations governing imitation firearms is yet. I'm digging more into it. If you have some information on that, please let me know. Info at pvlive.tv. Or where the entire device is constructed or transparent or translucent materials, which permits unmistakable observations of the device's complete contents as provided by federal regulations governing imitation firearms. The other is, is struck out. That is the whole darned thing. Boom. It's just adding these bits where it is going to mean that an imitation firearm is something that a reasonable person thinks that it is in fact a firearm it doesn't if you are a collector don't worry about it that's fine it has to be these different colors either as a predominant color in combination with the other colors or completely see-through so why why did he choose to do this? So, if you go more into the page on SB798, there's some great information there. You can see who voted for it, who voted against it, some of the arguments for and against, like these right here. So, here it is. One of the other things that we can talk about here is what they have down as fiscal effect. Appropriation, no. Fiscal commerce, no. Local, no. Which means that it won't cost any money to push this bill forward, but we can make the case that it will have an impact on local economies and state economies due to the sports of paintball and uh, airsoft and other such BB-related sports. In support of this bill, Los Angeles Chief of Police, Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, Women Against Gun Violence. In opposition was the National Rifle Association, California Association of Firearm Retailers, and National Shooting Sports Foundation. So, the argument in support of this bill. According to the author's office, SB 798 was introduced at the request of Los Angeles Police Chief Charlie Beck to perfect, protect Californians, especially law enforcement officers, from the threat and dangers caused by fake firearms such as BB guns. The accidental shooting of re residents, especially minors and young adults, by law enforcement officers and others is a public safety problem. This problem must be addressed as these fake guns are often indistinguishable from real guns and the legislature must act swiftly in order to protect the lives of the public and the brave men and women of law enforcement. SB 79 will amend Penal Code 16700 to require BB guns to be included in the laws and regulations set forth for imitation firearms. The incorporation of BB guns in the laws that governs firearms will help to make these fake guns distinguishable from real guns and reduce the proliferation of these fake guns into our communities. That is the scary part right there. And reduce the proliferation of these fake guns into our communities. Stop giving kids access to paintball and airsoft. Under existing law, any person who changes, alters, removes, or obliterates any coloration or markings that are required by any applicable state or federal law or regulation is guilty of a misdemeanor. Additionally, the Penal Code regulates the selling, distribution, manufacturing, transportation of imitation firearms and only provides exemptions for interstate commerce or foreign trade, motion picture and theatrical performances, sporting and ceremonial activities, Given the strict regulation restrictions placed upon imitation firearms, BB guns should also adhere to these restrictions because similar to imitation firearms, they elicit the same threats and dangers as real guns. Sticking point, which they will bring up in the opposition right here. Opposition National Shooting Sports Foundation, Inc. states, in 2004, legislation SB 1858 Dunn Imitation Firearms was carefully crafted by a working group compromised of industry, the Department of Justice, and law enforcement representatives. It was clear from the outset that all parties wanted to create legislation that would respond to an identified specific problem while recognizing, preserving, and protecting the legitimate ceremonial, theatrical, recreational, and sporting uses of these imitation firearms and BB devices throughout California. Specifically, the identified problem was confusion created by among law enforcement officers by some imitation firearm products which, because of their unique coloration and features, were not easily distinguishable from BB devices or real firearms. This confusion, it was feared, could lead to an accidental shooting of a child or other person when an officer responds in the field, which happened, unfortunately, in 2010, which also is one of the main impetus and driving forces behind this bill here. We'll talk more about that in the Senator's page later. Term imitation firearms includes BB devices, but is also includes products like toy guns that do not fire projectiles, which have potential to cause injury. 
While BB devices are not firearms, they do propel projectiles that can result in injury if the BB device is improperly used. They are not toys. On the side of your markers, it says, not a toy. They are not toys and should not be treated as such. In recognition of the above, BB device manufacturers include warnings with their products that they are not toys and that their improper use can result in injury. If it is required by statute to color them like toys, as proposed in SB 798, a dangerous risk of injury will be created because users could view them as toys and treat them accordingly. In fact, SB 798 could unintentionally promote the use of PB devices as if they are toys. That is what we should really be talking about when we're trying to make our case for and against SB 798, where if you treat them like toys, kids are going to treat them like toys. Instead of trying to make it illegal for us to have them, you should help us teach and establish an ongoing program with the community, with people who don't know what paintball and airsoft are, so that people will understand and respect these imitation firearm marking guns. So, who do you contact? How do you get more information on this? The unofficial ballot, more information, look at this, at your fingertips, has the people who voted I, right here, Alquist, Calderon, Corbett, De Leon, De Salentier, Evans, Hancock, Hernandez, Kehoe, Leno, Liu, Liu, Lowenthal, Padilla, Pavli, Price, Simitian, Steinberg, Vargas, Wolk, and Yi, and the no's, and no vote recorded. So the very interesting part here is that they had 21 yeses, 16 no's, and four no vote recorded. So if these four that didn't vote, vote no, that is 20 to 21, which means we only have to swing one of the eyes to our side to make sure that this does not pass. That is very, very doable. What you need to do is go to the people who voted no. All these people on this list, thank them. Thank them for their support of the sport of paintball, the legitimate sport of paintball, the industry of the sport of paintball, and protecting children uh, from imitation firearms and respecting a sport and respecting sporting equipment appropriately. That is what we should be doing. We should not be going to the eyes and flaming them or sending them, spamming them on their Facebook pages, their Twitter accounts, their email addresses, other places like that. Do not go to De Leon's Facebook page and spam him and flame him and send him all sorts of stuff about SB 798. It makes you sound like a bunch of freaking quacks running around in the woods with guns and will only steal his resolve. The senator himself, here's his page. And he's got some great stuff that he's done. There's some good stuff, and it's all for, for good people and, and trying to keep, you know, stuff off the streets and help the police officers and the poor people who are working in, in hotels and all sorts of stuff like that. And on his page, he has the press release for this legislation that is coming on right now. So here it was in uh, to December 2010, a 13-year-old boy was shot by an LAPD officer. And that's what it was. After that, the the Char, Char, Chief Charlie Beck went forward and said, we have to get these fake guns off the street because we don't want to accidentally kill another effing kid. What really put the nail in the coffin was they had these two right here. They presented these. Which one is a real gun and which one is a fake BB gun? Can you tell? Well, you, you probably can because you can tell the difference between which one's shinier and which one's better looking, which one looks like real plastic and which one actually has a nice inlaid medallion and real screws and stuff. But that's besides the point. You know, it, it's, it is at first glance really hard to distinguish between the two of them. What, what do we do though? There are a couple different ways we can go through this. One is going through and go to really easy facebook.com forward slash save paintball in California. 
Go there, like it, get more information, tell people about what I've said because there is a lot of misinformation going around about what it does and what it doesn't say, what's already been struck from it, whether it really does have to do with paintball or not and where to get more information. That is foremost what you need to do. Certainly go on to forums. There are a bunch of forums around that talks uh, talk about it. Get the word out. Tell people who have played paintball before or who might not have or who you think would be interested in this. The loopholes that we found, that I've found looking through this, which I've talked about before, is this one vote separation. If we can move one person from the I to a nay, that would all, all that would do it right there. The 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 second one is what I said, really promoting paintball as a true sport and how this would endanger children if it was passed unintentionally and the fiscal problem that it would have for the sport of paintball in California, a burgeoning true sport itself. And then also the other part of it is trying to find the loopholes in it itself. I, I joked about the nine firing collector's replica, yes, but the predominant color in combination with other colors in any pattern, that is where we can get around some of this. Remember in 2001 when spiders were all the rage and everybody had markers that were anodized? Yeah, auto cockers were like the shit. And they look like this. This, I'm guessing, I don't know because I haven't found the real statute for, for it, would guess this would be okay. That is bright red. That is the predominant color. This is bright purple. That's a predominant color as well. There you go. Your, your ego, I think, is okay just as long as you bring out one of the obnoxious poison or whatever colors. You are okay in that. Yeah, see? Your little pink... Wait a second. Oh, you mean this isn't a paintball marker? This is... Oh, that... This is actually a real handgun. That's weird. You mean only paintball markers and airsoft guns aren't the only things that are bright colors? You mean that someone could actually buy an effing AR-15 and trick it out to look like a freaking Hello Kitty gun? Yes, this is a real functioning AR-15. Now, if I pulled that out, or I pulled out, I don't know, a, another regular marker, an SP-8 or something like that, which one would you guess is the paintball marker, and which one would you guess is the real effing gun? So, that, in a nutshell, proves, makes their point moot. You could own this gun here, here in California, an AR-15. You modify a few things, you change the bolt, you, you, you change some stuff around. All you have to do is go on a couple different websites, Cal guns and other places. And they'll tell you what you need to do to get around the stupid laws we have here in California because they're stupid and it just it doesn't work. What we need to do though, a great article here over in Faceful summed it all up nicely. At the end said, we here at Faceful respect publicly elected officials as well as law enforcement agents, police officers, and military personnel, and realize that the process of law requires many people to speak out, stand up, and express themselves diligently without the context of defamation or violence. Keep what you're saying polite. Prove to them that we are a real sport. Another thing that was great here over at Baller's Cafe, at the very end, there is a lot of stuff that you can do what to do and what not to do. What they said in the what not to do is great. What not to do. It is important that we conduct ourselves in a professional manner as we deal with this issue. This is why we have gone to great lengths to create a form letter for all parties which everyone can use. Our message must be clear and concise if it is to be effective. We are portraying paintball as a recreational game and sport in order to make sure we have a strong position that the political system can stand behind. Don't go flaming, don't go screaming. It only makes us look stupid and only strengthens the people going against us. Go over to Baller's Cafe, go to the Facebook page, download the letter template, go join other people, go knock on doors, go tell everybody what's going on and, and help out the sport of paintball because it's only up to us. I mean, we are a burgeoning sport. No one else is gonna listen to us and don't take for granted that it's always gonna be there. You know, if we don't stand up, there are gonna be enough people, is it like the, 
if we don't do anything, they, they will win. And so don't be stupid. Don't be a-holes. Now's the time to come together with our friends over in the sport of Airsoft and all these other places. Get online, join the Facebook page. Tell me if you find any more information. Let's get this stuff together and let's shoot this stupid freaking bill down. Do something. Go there now.